Welcome to season two of Stay Focused. It, believe it or not, it's been a whole year of us sitting or standing together doing our weekly um, videos. Cheers. Cheers. So we're celebrating. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. If this doesn't make you start drinking, what will? <laughs> we're looking forward to a whole new year of videos and we hope you stay tuned again this year. and. Um, like our videos and share them and uh, we're gonna have fun so join us thank you and feel free to comment below if there's a topic you want us to talk about if there's something in particular you want to hear from us let us know either call us uh, drop a comment in the in the section below or just let us know somehow and we'll drink to that too until next drink stay focused Hey, welcome back to Stay Focused, our weekly video blog. I'm Randall Engelman. And I'm Eric Gould. Uh, this week's topic is our nearest, uh, Boston's nearest neighbor, Brookline. Brookline, Massachusetts. It's uh, right to the west of Boston and... Isn't uh, it also kind of south of Boston? Maybe? Well, it's actually surrounded three, three sides, sides right? by Boston, close to the city. A very desirable place to live. Uh, and well, one of the things that I really love about Brookline is you still have that urban feel of being in Boston with all of the big stone buildings, all the large... Uh, some brick, high, well, it's got great family. diversity in the housing stock yeah. uh, in Brookline. You've got high rises, single families, low rises, condos, all different types of properties. Brookline's a little bit of a hard market for many people to jump into, especially coming out of Boston, as the price point's a little bit higher. We're looking at an average of $2.1 million for the average single family home sale in 2017 anyway. So that does make it a little cost prohibitive. Remember though that there are many different areas of Brookline. Yeah, Brookline has a lot of different neighborhoods. Yeah, just as Boston does. So, uh, it, you know, the less expensive homes, of course, are a little south of Route 9, um, so you can find something a little less expensive there. Um, of course, then you drift into some of the more expensive areas around Dudley and uh, Pill Hill, but there's many, many different, different parts of Brookline to explore and to consider if you're thinking of making a move. Of course, one of the big uh, push into Brookline is school systems and that. Um, really what leads a lot of people into the different neighborhoods are not necessarily the housing stock or the desirability, um, but really the schools. Um, it's close to Boston, it's got good transportation, a number, of green, lines yeah, a number of green lines yeah. go through it, and bus lines, and it's on the Mass Pike and Route 9, so it's easy to get in and out of. And so this is serving a little bit as an introduction into Brookline, talking a little bit about that marketplace, which you'll see some more videos for from us in the future. But um, that's on our radar. That is where we are working as well, moving people from their homes in the city into, into another urban market, of course, in Brookline. If you have any questions um, about Brookline, give us a call. Glad to help you out. Absolutely. So uh, thanks for watching today, everybody. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, stay, stay tuned, tuned and stay, stay focused. focused. Let's just do this all night. <laughs> I need an orchid.